While we may not notice it in our daily lives, many things around us are made of steel. Here's a big one and a small one, in a high temperature and a very low temperature. With a short life and a long life, steel is here, there, and everywhere. Actually, more than 90% of metal products used in the world are made of steel. You may think we will run short of steel, but steel is made of iron, which makes up about one-third of the Earth's mass. The Earth is called a water planet, but it is also an iron planet. We will not run out of iron unless the Earth vanishes away. In addition, steel is the champion of recycling. It can be recycled over and over again. After use, most of the materials are dumped in a landfill or burned, but not steel. Because steel sticks to a magnet, it can be separated easily from all other materials. By this method, steel has been recycled for a long time, even though we may not be aware of it. Steel appears hard and stubborn, but it is actually a flexible material. Steel can be recycled again and again. Steel used in your family's car may have once traveled around the world as part of a ship. Cars have been made of steel, but recently some cars are made using some lighter materials, such as aluminum and carbon fiber. This is because lighter cars can travel further with less fuel. Some people think such cars are more environmentally friendly. But let's think carefully. Is it really true? How about the environmental impacts of each material during production or after use? Making aluminum requires a large amount of electricity. Carbon fiber requires high temperature treatment. Steel requires much less energy, and this means less CO2 emissions during production. Also, the production cost of steel per unit of weight is less than the price of bottled water. Steel helps keep the car prices low. How about after use? Aluminum can be recycled, but since it is difficult to purify, it's less easy to recycle into various new kinds of products than steel. Aluminum recycling also requires complicated sorting, unlike steel. Carbon fiber is difficult to collect and recycle. It is also very difficult to burn. About 100 million cars are manufactured in the world each year. If cars are made of materials that cannot be recycled, we will end up having huge amounts of waste. If we look at the full life cycle of a material from production to use and after its end of life, steel is more environmentally friendly than other materials. And as we have more and more electric vehicles, environmental impacts from use of cars become less. So, it is increasingly important to think about the environmental impacts during production and after use. This way of thinking is called life cycle assessment. It may sound difficult, but such a way of thinking is spreading worldwide, helping us to achieve environmentally friendly manufacturing practices. New steel products are developed one after another. High strength steel is stronger and lighter than conventional steel, and the use of such steel to make cars is increasing year by year. 
If we can make ideal steel in the future, such steel may be 10 times stronger than today's steel and may weigh only 10% of what it weighs today. For more than 4,000 years, we have been using steel. Steel used as a tool in old days then might have been used in a steam locomotive your great-grandfather traveled on or as a frying pan used at your grandmother's house and it may now be used in your musical instrument. In the future, when your children and grandchildren grow up, the same steel might be used in a spaceship. Steel is made, used, ends its use, and is recycled. Steel can be recycled into various kinds of steel products again and again. Imagine the future 100 years from now. Think not only about when something is used, but also what happens after the use and further into the future. The potential of steel is still expanding. Your choice of materials can lead to an environmentally friendly future.